Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about whole eggs and why you guys shouldn't be throwing away your yolks. So let me put on my plus five out of weapon smithing, work on skill and my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. And you know what? I pissed off the keto people last time and made the vegans happy talking about the potato, another awesome, nutritious whole food. Today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about eggs. And yeah, I do the free range eggs, whole eggs, one of the staples in my diet right now. Uh, you know, I'm down 40 pounds and still cutting as a formerly fat power lifter. But, you know, eggs, eggs. And the reason I point this out, you know, a lot of people are scared sometimes of eating any amount of saturated fat and they will throw away uh, something as awesome as an egg yolk. And eggs taste delicious, right? Eggs are great. Eggs are great. But they'll throw away the egg yolk because they're afraid of a little bit of fat or a little bit of saturated fat. But people need to step back and do the math. Like even for me, I can actually get away with a dozen whole eggs in a day if I choose to. You guys notice from the refrigerator picture I put up on my uh, Facebook the other day, I have a lot of eggs in my fridge. Uh, I can get away with eating a dozen eggs and still be on what would be classified as a low-fat diet. All right, when you think about it from that perspective and you think about the fat content in eggs and you think about what even medical doctors and registered dietitians call a low-fat diet, and you look at what safe limits are on saturated fat, it kind of seems silly to throw away egg yolks when you look into the nutritional value that they have. And people will say, well, what do you mean? There's, there's fat in there. Yeah, there's fat in there. But so what? It's not like you don't need any fat in your diet. All right. Hold on. Let me do that. I didn't totally practice before I got over here. Let me do quick. Um, but the point is, you start looking at what's in the egg. How much fat's in there? Five grams, right? Five grams in a large egg like this. How much of it's saturated? About one and a half grams. A low-fat diet is anything under about 20% of your calories coming from fat, right? Under any, anything under about 20%. That's about the threshold, right? So if you're at 15% fat, that's considered to be a low-fat diet. Hell, when you start going to crazy low numbers like 10%, that's even what some of the low-fat, high-carb vegans talk about doing like you know 10 10 80 splits and things like that that's what they've been talking about for years that is an ultra low fat diet you understand that if your maintenance calories are 3,000 calories that gives you 300 300 calories of fat is still considered to be an ultra low fat and uh, trust me most of you out there you should be able to burn 3,000 calories a day uh, that's well below my actual weight loss calories personally uh, 3,000. If you're a really physically active, healthy male, your maintenance calories should be at least 3,000. But, you know, 300 calories of, of fat is considered to be extremely low, borderline deficient. 20% fat is still considered to be a low-fat diet. What is that in terms of grams? Because 20% of 3,000 is 600 calories. That is about 66 to 67 grams of fat. How many eggs is that? That's over 13 eggs. So if your source of fat was a dozen eggs every single day, that would still be considered a low-fat diet. A low-fat diet. People say, well, what about the saturated fat? Well, all right, let's assume that any of the data we have on saturated fat, I'm not going to disagree with that. That is a point of contention, by the way. It's a point of contention. But let's assume that it's correct. Let's assume the anti-fat people, let's assume the, the, the vegans, everyone else, that they, they're right. That too much saturated fat is a bad thing. So let's work off that premise. What, what are the recommendations for ideal health? Uh, in the United States, registered dietitians usually tell you what? Saturated fat shouldn't be more than 10% of your total caloric intake to be in a healthy ideal range. No more than 10%. See where we're about to go with this? What does the NHS in the UK say? Another country I've lived in, I've wild on YouTube. They say men shouldn't consume more than about 30 grams of saturated fat in a day. That's the upper threshold of what they consider to be a reasonable, safe amount. All right, this is for overall health, guys. We're not even talking about for athletes, and I'm going to assume most of you listening are at least an athlete of some sort or trying to be. Or else why would you be on a serious strength channel? Uh, you probably do think of yourself at least as a recreational athlete, I would hope. Hopefully you're reasonably athletic. You train hard several days a week with, with serious goals. Um, how much of that, what's in a dozen eggs? Let's say a dozen eggs. 
1.5 grams of saturated fat times 12. That's 18 grams of saturated fat. Is that less than 30? Yeah. So if you're eating mostly lower fat whole foods and the bulk of your fat came from a dozen eggs, and most of you aren't going to eat a dozen eggs. I'm being rather extreme because a dozen whole eggs is a lot. That's a lot. What are we talking about here? 18 grams of saturated fat from an entire dozen whole eggs. It's fatty food. In other words, people aren't on high fat diets because they're eating eggs. Let's be realistic here. They're on a high fat diet because they sit around eating a do double bacon cheeseburger with french fries from McDonald's. All right, that's a high fat diet. This isn't high saturated fat. And what I mean is that's 12 grams from the safe limit for the NHS. Uh, what's that in terms of calories? 18 times 9. That's 162, 162 calories from saturated fat. That means that if you're on anything over a 1600 calorie diet, then you are under, you're well within the recommendations for upper limits of saturated fat by registered dietitians in the United States for, for general health and longevity. Now, most of you out here listening are going to be consuming a lot more than 1,600 calories. If you go over to a 3,000 calorie diet, you could eat pretty much almost double that amount, like up to 24 eggs, before you even hit that threshold that they're talking about. All right, I assure you, none of you, well, let me, my followers probably might be true. The vast majority of you are not going to eat 20 or 24 whole eggs every day. So people are standing here throwing away these egg yolks. What are they losing? They're losing half of the protein. All right, we want to talk about protein quality. Eggs are the best. All right, look at the bioavailability, the amino acid profile on eggs. They're superior to meat. You're losing half of the protein with the egg yolk, half of the protein. You're losing a lot of vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, losing a lot of minerals. Uh, we're losing all these valuable vitamins. You're losing valuable vitamins. Why? Because you're afraid of a little bit of saturated fat. Do you, do you understand that if the only fat you got in your diet came from eating six eggs a day, and you lived on brown rice and potatoes and fat-free dairy and, and stuff like that for the rest of your calories, do you understand you would be deficient in fat? That would be considered to be such a low-fat diet that it would be borderline deficient. You would be deficient in fat-soluble vitamins. You would be on pretty much a diet that most registered dietitians would say is too low in fat for your ideal health. If all you got was six eggs, whole eggs. So why are people throwing out their egg yolks? All right, there's an enormous amount of nutritional value there. And quite frankly, there isn't that much fat and there isn't that much saturated fat. Uh, for most people, this is not going to be enough to worry about. In other words, your diet would have to be pretty shitty for eating a few eggs, six, seven, eight egg yolks every day, for that to push you beyond the safe threshold on your fat intake or your saturated fat intake, especially considering all the vitamins that are in it and the quality of protein you're throwing away, for that to push you over the limit, the rest of your diet would have to be pretty horrific. All right, eggs are a whole food. They're nutritious. This is a quality food. Just like when I talked about potatoes the other day, these are quality foods. This is not what's making people fat, and it's not what's making people unhealthy in the West. They're not getting there from eating whole eggs. They're not getting there from eating potatoes. All right, they're getting there from drinking soda, eating double bacon cheeseburgers and french fries, and pizza and ice cream all day, and candy. All right, that's what's causing it. This is not the cause. All right, this is a quality, nutritious, muscle building performance building food just like the potato is all right guys well, that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i will talk to you guys next time